Hello friends, myself Ramesh Chandra and, uh, and in this video lecture we are going to discuss five problem on some application of trigonometry that we called height and distance and in this lecture we will learn how to apply the angle of elevation, how to apply the angle of depression and how to apply the theory of trigonometry in height and distance. So let's learn. Here is the example number one. Answer to this question is, this is the answer. So let's read this question. The angle of depression of top and the bottom of an 8 meter tall building from the top of a multi-storied building are 30, 30 degree and 45 degree respectively. Find the height of the multi-storied building and the distance between the two buildings. It is given that the angle of depression of the top and bottom of an 8 meter tall building. So this is of length 8 meter. AB length is of 8 meter and from the top of multi-story building are 30 and 45 degree respectively. So as you can see this is the angle of depression that is 30 degree and this is of 45 degree. Now what we need to find next find the height of the multi-storied building and the distance between the two buildings. So we need to find the total height of the multi-storied building and the distance between them. So as we can say, the, as we can see, this is a 45 degree angle. So this angle must be equal to a 45 degree. And this angle is 30 degree. So this angle must be of 30 degree. Now let's say this length is equal to x that is the distance between two building and since this is 45 degree in angle so we have a relation like 10 45 degree is equal to pc upon ac pc upon ac and 10 45 degree is equal to 1 so this imply PC is equal to AC. So PC length is equal to AC. So this is X, then the height will also be of X in length. Now BD will also be of X in length. Let's say PD length is of Y length, then 1030, 1030 degree is equal to y upon x and that 1030 is 1 upon root 3. So this imply x is equal to root 3y and y is equal to y is nothing but that is y is nothing but that is x minus 8 that is x minus 8 the whole length is x so we need to subtract this 8 length it is as it is given. So x is equal to root 3x minus 8. So this is root 3x minus x is equal to 8 root 3. If you transfer root 3 into 8 that side you will get root 3x minus x. So this is x times root 3 minus minus 1 is equal to 8 root so this is the first relation that we get hence x is equal to 8 root 3 upon root 3 minus 1 and if we rationalize it by multiplying root 3 plus 1 both side root 3 plus 1 we will get this is a minus b into a plus b so a square minus b square that is 3 minus 1 2 if we divide 8 by 2 we will get 4 root 3 into root 3 plus 1 so if we multiply root 3 in this then we will get 4 times 3 plus root 3 
So what we need to find? Find the height of the multi-storied building. So PC length that is x is equal to 4 times 3 plus root 3. And the distance between the two building AC that is also x. So this is the answer. Let's move another question. Here is example number 2. Answer to this question is 3 into 1 plus root 3 meter. Let's read this question. From a point on a bridge across a river, the angle of depression of the bank on the opposite side of the river are 30 and 45 degree respectively. If the bridge is at a height of 3 meter from the bank, find the width of the river. So as per the given question, this is a point P at the bridge that is making angle 30 degree and 45 degree depression angle with A and B. So what we need to find is then find the width of the river. So we need to find the length of this river. As we know that this angle is 45. So this will also be a 45 in degree. And since this is 45 and PD is equal to 3 meter. So BD must be is equal to 3 meter. You can apply 1045 as you can apply 1045 degree as PD upon DB and 1045 is 1. So 1 is equal to PD upon DB and this imply PD is equal to DB and PD is equal to 3 meter. So DB length must be of 3 meter. Now since this angle is 30 degree, so this angle will also be of 30 degree since these AD is parallel to this. Hence 1030, 1030, we can apply 1030 is equal to PD length upon AD length, AD. And PD is equal to 3, so and 1030 is 1 upon root 3, 1 upon root 3 is equal to PD is 3 meter upon AD, we need to find the length of AD. So AD is equal to 3 root 3. Hence AB length must be equal to AB is equal to AD plus DB. And we know that AD is equal to 3 root 3 and DB is equal to DB is equal to 3. So the answer to this question is 3 times root 3 plus 1. Let's move on another example. Answer to this question is D part. Let's read. If the angle of elevation of the top of a tower from two point at a distance A and B from the foot of the tower and are in same line are complementary. The height of the tower is, there are four options that we need to find. So let's say this is angle theta. So this angle will be 90 minus theta since angle are complementary, complementary angle are given. So let's say A is at of distance A unit from F and B is of distance B unit from F. So what we can have 10 theta is equal to in this triangle BTF 10 theta is equal to TF upon B. And 10 of 90 minus theta that is equal to in this triangle ATF 10 90 minus theta is equal to TF upon AF. AF is A unit. Call this B second one. 10 90 minus theta is cot theta and that is equal to TF upon A. 
So if we multiply these two, then we will get 10 theta into cot theta is equal to, if we multiply these two, we will get Tf square upon A into B. And 10 theta into cot theta is 1. So Tf square is equal to AB. Hence, Tf is equal to under root of AB. So we need to find the height of the tower and that is under root AB. So D is the correct answer. Let's move on another problem. Example number four. Let's understand this. There are two temples, one on each bank of a river, just opposite, just opposite to each other. One temple is 40 meter high. Let's say TA is one sentiment. Uh, TA is 40 meter high. As observed from the top of this temple, the angle of depression of the top and foot of other temple are 30 and 60 degree respectively. The width of the river is, we need to find the width of the river. So answer to this question is A part. So let's solve this question. So as per the given question, one temple is 40 meter high. So let's T A is equal to 40 meter. And as observed from top of this temple, the angle of depression of the top and foot of the other temple are 30 and 60 degree respectively. So this angle must be of 6, 30 degree and this angle must be of 60 degree. Now if this is 30 degree, so this angle must be 30 degree since these two lines are parallel. And since this is 60 degree, so this will also be of 60 degree in angle. And we need to find the width of the river. So we need to find the length AB. Now, if we apply 10 of 60 in this triangle, so 10 60 is equal to TA upon AB. And 10 60 is root 3, that is TA is of 40 meter and upon AB, AB that we need to find. So AB is equal to 40 upon root 3. If you use, you can rationalize this, you can rationalize it by multiplying by root 3. So this become 40 upon 3 into root 3. So you will get A as the answer. A as the answer. So let's say, let's move on another problem. Example number five. Answer to this question is D. On the level ground, the angle of elevation of the top of a tower is 30 degree as shown here. On moving 20 meter nearer to its, it, the angle of elevation becomes 60 degree. So if we move third, uh, if we move 20 meter nearer to this tower, the angle becomes 60 degree. We need to find the height of the tower. So answer to this question is D. You can solve it in your own. So let's say this length be X. Let's say this length be X and this is the height height of the tower. So H per the given in the question, if we apply 10 of 30 in this triangle, ATF, so 1030 is equal to H upon 20 plus X and 1030 is equal to 1 upon root 3. So this is first one. And if we apply 10 of 60, in the triangle FBT, then 1060 is equal to H upon X and 1060 is root 3. This is second relation. Now we need to think about 
there are two equation in x and h and we need to eliminate one so our priority to find h so we can replace x by we can replace x by h upon root 3 you can see here so if we multiply these two then we will get root 3 h is equal to 20 plus x and that is 20 plus x is equal to h upon root 3. So if we take h that side then we will get root 3 minus 1 upon root 3 times h is equal to 20. So h is equal to 20 upon root 3 into root 3 that is 3 minus 1 upon root 3. So we will get 3 minus 1 and into root 3. If you simplify this you will get this and that is equal to that is 2 so that become 10 root 3. So 10 root 3 is the answer for this question. Yes.